baseball is the national pastime and minor league baseball is a great way for up and comers to develop their talents on and off the field and for Annie's to find a season long relationship as we saw in this week's episode, Bull Durham. This week we headed to Durham, North Carolina, home of the Durham Bulls, a real minor league team in the East Division and the Triple A affiliate for the Tampa Rays. The Durham Bulls have been around for more than 80 years and it was during the team's Bull Durham era when team owner Miles Wolf began pushing for a new ballpark to attract Triple A baseball, but stadiums were pushed back for a few years. Upon the film's release in 1988, it led to a resurgence of interest in the team, their ballpark, and the snorting bowl sign that indicated, quote, hit bowl, win steak, hit grass, win salad. And that's very similar to many of the giveaways teams use to this day. Anyway, Bull Durham showed us the fun that minor league baseball provides. And I, for one, love watching a game in person. So I've been to T-Mobile Stadium to watch the Diamondbacks beat the Mariners, and I've been to Minute Maid Park to cheer on my beloved Astros. There is truly nothing like the excitement and adrenaline that a Major League Baseball park provides. However, minor league games are so much fun for many reasons. As a kid, I often went to Spokane Indians games with friends and family, and I remember the food, the fireworks, and on one particular 50 cent beer night, a few fights. The unique mix of cheap beer and angry fans. During a family reunion in Albuquerque, New Mexico, we all went to an Isotopes game and enjoyed a performance of Rose Royce song Car Wash by a local group called The Beer Buds. Basically, dads with beer guts who enjoyed dancing to 70s souls songs during the seventh inning stretch of Isotopes games. And fun fact, fans of the show Breaking Bad, set in Albuquerque, will notice that Walter was wearing an Isotopes hat the first time he meets Saul Goodman. And when I lived in Great Falls, Montana, I went to a few Voyagers games and was even featured in a few commercials to promote their new food offerings and craft beer selection. I guess it didn't hurt that my good friend was the tap room manager of the sponsoring <laughs> brewery. But more often than not, Minor league games provide a relaxed atmosphere, giving players room to make mistakes and grow into their sport. Like Nuke grew into the garter he eventually wore at Annie's behest and enjoyed a winning streak because of. And one of the legends of the minors was Max Patkin, seen as himself as the crown prince of baseball the goofy guy in the Mets jersey from the movie. Born January 10th, 1920, Patkin was an American baseball player and clown, and after an arm injury curtailed his minor league career, he joined the Navy during World War II. Stationed in Hawaii, Patkin was pitching for a service team and none other than Joe DiMaggio through a lanky right-hander. In mock anger, Patkin threw his glove down, then followed DiMaggio around the bases, much to the delight of the fans, and a career was born. Patkin had a face seemingly made of rubber that he could contort into various shapes. Think a baseball-loving early Jim Carrey. And he was real thin and wore a baggy uniform that had that question mark on the back and that askew ball cap. Some derided his act as corny. He became a beloved figure in baseball circles. 
traveling throughout the US and Canada, and he estimates that he made more than 4,000 appearances throughout his career. One of those appearances was July 20th, 1969. He played in front of a crowd of four. That's one, two, three, four people because the rest of the town was at home watching Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin land on the moon. So that means there are four people who would have rather watched minor league baseball than the giant leap for all mankind. And the stories of baseball show what an important part of the American fabric the game is. And even if you're not a sports fan, the mix of exciting moments, quieter moments, and just the fun, relaxed atmosphere gives people a unique experience. And whether it's a first date, a night out with family, a company outing, watching a game at your local ballpark is sure to be a home run and where legends are made. No word on what happens in the locker rooms or homes of English professors who love Ada Piaf, but every team has its quirks, including the crown prince of baseball himself. So check out a game this season and enjoy all of the shenanigans of the seventh inning stretch. And while you're at it, go ahead and give the subscribe button a home run so you never miss a thing. We appreciate our listeners, our viewers, our supporters. Follow us on Facebook. As you know, or you should know, new episodes of the Real Relationships podcast drop every Thursday on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get podcasts. And new episodes of this show premiere every Thursday as well. Thanks. We'll see you soon.